Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, periodic and non-periodic signals. So far we have discussed uh, various questions related to checking whether a particular signal is periodic or not and if it is, what is its fundamental period related to that. So in this video, we will discuss some basic concepts related to you know sum of two signals okay and determining whether the resultant signal that is the sum of two signal it is periodic or non periodic and if it is periodic, what is the condition for which both the signals it will be periodic? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So here, first, let us say we have uh, let's say one signal x one t. It is a periodic signal with a fundamental time period t1 okay it is this so let us uh, see the signal is like this like this okay the signal is like this now here this is the time period t1 so if we can just shift it slightly towards the left side So now we can extend it okay like this. Now we have another signal let us say x2t with fundamental time period x2 plus t2 okay. So here let us draw that signal as well. So let us draw the markers here. Okay, like this. So, this signal is something like this. Here I am not assigning any values, I am just trying to demonstrate something, okay, like this. So here the time period is T2, so here if you see the relationship between the time periods of these two signals are time period t1 is twice of time period t2. Now if you see the resultant signal, the first complete waveform 
of the first signal it is from this point to this point this point to this point okay with time period t1 and up until that point we have two such waveforms of the signal x2 we have okay so whatever resultant signal we will have here i'm not drawing the exact thing i'm So whatever resultant signal we will have, okay, whatever resultant signal we will have, it will be, it will have a time period equal to the time period of this signal x one t, which is of you no know, larger value, okay. So the signal, the resultant signal, it will be let's say something like this. Okay, the amplitudes will vary. Okay, I'm not assigning the definite values here. Let's say here the amplitude is for this signal. it fluctuates in between plus a and minus a here it is let's say plus b and minus b and here let's say it is plus c and minus c here we are not interested in that what i'm trying to say is that this time period of the resultant signal will also be equal to the time period t1 okay t1 which is equal to twice of time period t2 this is the time period of the resultant signal okay this so the basic condition for two signals okay two signals two periodic signals with different time periods t1 and t2 for the resultant signal okay xt equals to x1t plus x2t for it to be periodic the first condition is that the ratio of t1 by t2 it should be a rational number here let's say t1 is let's say i'm just taking a value i'm say let's say t1 is 4 seconds so t2 will be 2 seconds i'm just putting a value okay t1 is 4 seconds t2 is 2 seconds so in that case t1 by t2 is equal to 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 seconds it is a rational number so the resultant signal x1t plus x2t it will be periodic which is this resultant signal and that will have a time period equals to so here this is this it will it is a ratio there so there will be no unit sorry uh, by mistake i written okay it will have no unit so the resultant signal it will have a time period equals to t1 which is of higher value which is equal to 2 t2 from this ratio okay so always remember when you have two different signals represented as this x1 t x1 t plus t1 with fundamental time period t1 and second signal x2 t with fundamental time period t2 first condition is checking the periodicity condition i 
and that is that T1 by T2 it should be a rational number okay that is the first condition then the time period of the resultant signal that is given by let's say this ratio is equal to uh, let's call it r okay this ratio this rational number is r so the resultant signal time period will be equal to t1 which is equal to r t2 okay this okay this this will be the uh, thing or if you want to represent in some other way let's say this ratio t1 by t2 is in the form of p by q okay so the resultant time period through cross multiplication it will be either you can write it as q t1 or equals to p t2 either way it is right okay either way it is right the resultant time period but p by q ratio it should be a rational number okay so this is the basic concept related to sum of two signals the resultant signal to check the periodicity of that these are the two important concepts okay